Okay, so for our next one, I th just want to show you how to do one of the sections. Um, let's go back to our four squares. Let's maximize our perspective. And if you already have this clipping plane, you can keep it, or you can actually flip it 90 degrees. How do I flip it 90 degrees with my um, gumball? The green curve, exactly. If I, I mean, I can flip it 90. If I use the, um, the blue curve, that means I'm rotating it on the blue axis. That means it's just going to turn in plan. Right? If I want to flip it 90 degrees up, I need to choose the hinge. I need to choose either this hinge or that hinge. Right? So let me choose actually the, um, the green hinge because I want to rotate it that way because I want to look at a north south. Oh, let me rotate myself. The south is right here. So I'm going to use the red one, and I'm going to type 90. And there it is. See how it flipped it? 90 degrees. If you didn't want to do that, you can also, look, you can just do a new clipping plane. Are we still on that layer? Yeah. You can type clipping plane. Right? And then choose vertical. And then go ahead, click anywhere and go up with it. And now it's vertical. Some people like to keep two clipping planes all the time. right? And they may call one clipping plane plan. And the other call the other one clipping plane Sorry. section. right? So you'll develop your own habits later on and organize yourselves um, up here with the layers. Some people like to see their drawings in two sections. So they'll leave a plan and a section. right? See that 3D cut? So they'll leave two clipping planes. Anyway, um, I'm going to move my clipping plane until I cut through what again? My pedestal, right? If my pedestal is aligned with my solar windows, then I'm good to go. If you're, there's no alignment, you're going to have a hell of a time aligning your windows uh, sorry, your clipping plane. You have a good section. So make sure that this is in black because your clipping layer, uh, plane layer is black and you can read where the section is being cut. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Now I have a vertical cut. Do we see that? I'm cutting through the windows. You're supposed to have another window here and another window here. Remember, like on the whiteboard, one of the sections is going to have to show the solar windows. If it doesn't, ay Dios mío. Okay. Um, now, is this a good view? Do I make it 2D right here? The answer is no, because it's not a flat drawing. It's a perspective. Don't do that to yourself, right? Bad decision. Go to your four squares. Where do you think this view is taken from? The right, the right view. So um, go to your right view, select your clipping plane, and make it read the right view, right? Clipping plane icon, right view, now I can see it. Perfect. And how about in the top view? Right? Let's go ahead and select Make 2D. Make sure there's nothing on the 0, 0. I'm going to type Make 2D. Select in top view. Select right view. Tab. Press Enter. Keep everything the way it is. Say OK. And there is your section. Right? Um, We need to make sure this is in shaded mode. 
right? I really don't want to see the stairs because in this section I don't see the stairs, so I'm going to delete. You need to check yourself, okay? Don't fire and forget. Don't fire at a target and walk away. You fire and then you need to approach the target. Did I hit it? Did I not hit it? Am I on the right track? So a lot of times students just like, oh, but I did, I did what you said. I went through the motions. Well, you know, you need to also check yourself, right? You can't be a robot. So I just looked a little bit closer and I realized that I did something wrong, so I'm going to go back and correct it. Um, let's go back over here and type make 2D again from right to left. Let's make sure this is also in shaded mode. Okay, so make 2D, press enter, select, select right view. Enter. So I'm not showing hidden lines, so it, those stairs shouldn't come out. All right, I'm just going to say OK. All right, we still got them. But you know what? I think that's OK. You know why? Because you guys are brilliant. You can just look at this, and then you can look at this. And you say, oh my god, I have things that shouldn't be there. What shouldn't be there? The stairs? All right, dang it, delete them. Right? That line? Yeah, that's okay. I wanted to delete it. Right? See how here it like flows? There's no line? Okay. What about here? Do I have a line here? No. I'm going to delete it. Do I have a line here? No, I only have the window line, guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete these guys. And I think my window is this guy, not this guy. This whole thing is from the window in the background, remember? Uh, OK. If you have a hard time selecting something, just do a uh, an inclusionary window. So here we go. All this is clean all the way down. Delete that line. Delete that line. Okay. That line should stay. We could, we're going to work with it later. Do I have a line going down the middle here? No. Delete it. Do I have these lines? Yes, I do, because I have carvings on the inside, and I'm going to keep them. That's my piece of glass. That's the thickness of my ceiling, right? You guys should have one more here and one more here. So I'm going to call it a day on this guy. I'm going to move my section over and park it in the right spot. OK, and I'm going to move the text over as well, and copy it this way, and I'm going to call it North South Section. Okay, boom. Why is this called a North South Section? because my clipping plane is parallel to the north-south. Even though it's looking east, uh, sorry, even though it's looking westward, the view is westward, but the section itself is cutting from the north to the south, or from the south to the north, right? So that's how you distinguish them. This is a north-south section, all right? I think I'm going to delete that too. Okay. All right, so I'm going to call it a day on the sections and we can continue next time. I think that's how, I think you kind of know how to do this stuff. Um, we're going to try to scale them next time.